Hello, welcome to another review. This is my second ever Figma figure, and it is the Mighty Four from the Avengers. Uh, Max Factory X Max Saki SP Action Figure Series Figma. Uh, Good Smile Company, no, the company of Figma. So, pretty much see quite clearly what you get inside. Uh, here's Four figure in the pose, and here's him in a different pose, and here's him in a, another pose. Same pose as top, and um, this is Figma 216, Captain America, and Iron Man, and the Iron Man Complete Edition that comes with a Tony Stark head are going to be out, and the Iron Man, of course, being the most expensive because Iron Man. <sighs> I'm kind of sick of Iron Man. Anyway, uh, round tape that can peel off quite easy with just your fingernail, so that's cool. Uh, I also think Samus and uh, Link are getting re-released according to their website. Then it's getting released again. I was like, the release date is 2014, but it's already out. I already revealed Link for God's sake. And there's also a uh, Samus in her bio suit, you know, the blue suit that you sometimes see. And uh, here's it out, it's got the backing box, which has got a slight navy blue feel to it. And it's like a little stage thing that you can do. And it says the Mighty Four, or Four the Avenger. Uh, and as you can see, this cardboard looks pretty rough. Like, it doesn't matter too much, but like, Christ, this must be really cheap cardboard. Um, well, thank God the outer box isn't like that. I don't remember the link box being like that, but that's probably because uh, the Link one was actually printed with a pattern and was light colour, so I probably couldn't notice all the fold marks and all that. But, uh, but this one is really noticeable, and that's not too cool, me thinks. But uh, here he is, uh, top. Well, it's got a bag on the back, because it has the cape, it's taped down. The cape looks like it was just chucked in there randomly, so it's all folded up and stuff. So. Uh, Someone forgot to tell Thor to iron his cape. You think he has to do that? Like after a fight, he needs to like get someone. He's like, "Hey, Natalie Portman, come and iron my cape and stuff." While she stares at his uh, abs, and I can't get the cape out. Oh, okay. I will give them that. This cape feels pretty nice. Oh my god, I dropped it. It's so silky soft, just like Thor's golden hair. Uh, yeah, it's it's. We need soft. Oh, oh, there's a rip there. Oh, that's not good. Mm, no, 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 no. This isn't good at all. Okay, but this is holding. Yeah, this this cape will is pretty bad. If you do pull on this, it will break, and I, you can probably hear me doing it right there. So I mean, it feels silk and soft, but uh, it's they didn't. Um, I guess it would have been better if they actually glued the edges, or uh, well, it feels like there's a bit of glue there, but uh, just not enough. Either glue the edges, or actually, uh, you might want to just sew the edge yourself. Actually, uh, I would recommend people might want to just sew, uh, you know, sew a little bit in there and just put a piece of metal there so you can do different poses. But then it would sort of not have the soft effect. Hmm. That's not good. Not a good sign. <laughs> Open up the top. I just said this thing is fragile and I'm just like pushing it around the back of the box. So, I'm so stupid. <sighs> well, just like all Figma stuff, you get a little bag in case you really want to chuck away your box. Uh, you got the stage, which is just Figma. Oh, look, there's a little pin on there in, in the inside. Mm. I don't know what that's for. But uh, yeah, the stages are all Figma stages are the same. It saves the money that way. And personally, it, it's. I'm not bothered. Oh, I had those like Disney eggs. I can stick the. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't even have the four sticker anyway. And so it's Captain America. Uh, instructions. And ooh, uh, movable eyes. And a little tool for you to move the eyes. Uh, and here's how to attach the cape and stuff. So. If you want to take a look at the box out and all of the instructions and stuff, please feel free to head over to the Facebook link in the description below. And here, yeah, take a closer look at this. I think it's a spare uh, hand to arm joint peg thing. Uh, well, pff, can't say no to spares, that's great. So, Cecil reminds, he's, first of all, he's 
slightly protected in that plastic bag. He also has a bit of tape on top of his hair to protect his hair. And uh, there's one in his waist to protect his uh, abs. If I can just remove that. This tape, bloody hell, it's tape down there tight. Oh, there we go. Get it. Get it. No, I don't got it. Oh, oh it's coming off. Come off, come off, come off. Hmm. It's hidden an extra joint down there. Apart from the fist hands already on his body, uh, he also has the Mew Mir. I can't say the name. His mighty hammer, hammer holding hands, and very open hands, the eye moving tool, and these, which are for you to peg the cape onto his body, which of course is important. So let's. Uh, oh, you know, oh, there you go. Uh, let's take a look at the hammer first. There it is, this mighty hammer. Oh, I can't even pick it up. Uh, it is painted pretty well, it's molded also really nice. You can see all those little patterns down there. It's, it's uh, paying attention to detail, that's good. Uh, this little bit here is soft enough so it won't snap, but I wouldn't wobble it too much. And because uh, you pull it apart, stick this in the hand and you can hold it. Which, uh, you yeah, know, it's a great accessory. Uh, but uh, I did notice already that the hands can fall off quite easily, so if you do have them, do be careful or you might drop and lose a hand. And uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want that to happen. Uh, there is a peg in the little hand joint, but it's not tight enough to you know, actually make an impact. So a Figma really needs to learn a lesson from Lego. Uh, to get that peg system working correctly. As for the cape, well, let's see. Uh, so what you do is you move his head. Well, there goes his face, but it's scary. You unpeg this, you get the cape, and you're supposed to fold it a little bit. And get one of these little pegs, so... Uh, this is going to be very finicky. Especially to do it on the camera, but uh, peg, peg. Oh, sure, I'm going to do this right. Peg. So I've got like three folds here, pegged it in. And uh, in front of him, funny enough, right here, there's a peg. Which uh, is going to be really hard to peg in. Not really sure if I can do it. And this is going to be really finicky. Is it going in? Oh. All right. Uh, it's in. So there's there's the peg. And this is freaking me out. So I'm going to get his head. Uh, you can see his little, his little movable eye joints in there. So I'll uh, just get the tool. If I can get the tool. It just has like a little hole down there, so just for you to uh, be more sensitive with the eye movements. Um, he's looking up right now, so I don't like that, so I'll just change it. So after a lot of finicky work, I finally got this cape on him. Uh, seriously, not the best design ever. Uh, with all the different parts, I can actually pop up quite easily, including his hair. Uh, and his face. I wish this front plate can actually come off so I can actually get access to the pegs easier. And now I'm not even sure I'm going to get the cape off because the pegs are sort of in an odd place. I'm going to have to use my fingernails or something. But anyway, articulation, like I said, above his head, he's got two bits of hair on the back of his head and above the front little ball pegs so they can pop up quite easily. And his face, of course, you've got the two eyes which, you can, which are articulated so you can mess with his eyes if you want to. Currently he's looking center so that's fine with me. Uh, he does have a double neck joint so rotating fine up, down. His front hair is also quite soft. So, yeah, he can do that. No, really long neck there for if he wants to look up. Uh, arm goes uh, up. It's on a uh, sort of uh, kind of Revel Tech like system. So I can go up, down, full rotation, slight 
swivel, uh, double elbow, but a really nasty kind of plastic underneath when he cuts it up. And arm is on a little uh, peg and swivel joint. Torso can go whoop and really back. Uh, you got one joint there and a second joint there, which um, isn't ideal. This joint you can see here, it's just like one of the cheaper action figures you can get, but uh, at least it's kind of covered by this rubbery bit. You can do sideways, sideways, full rotation. And if you push, if you push this up, uh, legs can go up, back, rotate a little bit. Again, it's just it can't actually go down. It's not like SH figure art. So again, it's just like a rubber tech joint. Sort of uh, well, there's a ball peg there, and it goes a little bit, I think, but uh, it doesn't really go up and down, which is fine. Uh, double knee joint, but again, there's no knee pads and knee 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 pads there, so. Uh, doesn't really look too good up and our leg can pop off quite easily just in case you didn't believe me it's a ball peg inside get back on there we go at least it can go on quite easily uh, little foot goes down foot goes up toe can go up a little bit toe can't go down just some slight rotating here to do different slight different poses it does get so sort of stopped so you can't actually do things like break its leg or anything. So, um, let's actually rotate uh, again, only a little bit, very limited movement. Not a big fan, and uh, generic boot stuff at the bottom. Uh, but the good news is, if you want to do his signature rotating hand thing, he can do that. I'm just going to do that. We just stick that in. Not too bothered with uh, unpegging it, it should fit just fine. So, push this up while he's supposed to be holding that strap, but of course, he can't actually do that. But, uh, whoa. I'll do that at the hand so. Nah, you get the idea. It kind of works. Figma 2164 from the Avengers is a pretty good figure. Um, it's not as articulated as, say, uh, the Figure figures would be. It is the standard sort of Figma quality to expect here. Uh, however, the detailing on the hammer and the armor are really, really good. Uh, not, can hardly see any sort of molding injection lines anywhere and the paint detail is really nice. Also the face sculpt sculpture is um, definitely does look like the actor, I think, what was his name? Chris Hemsworth? Uh, so it definitely looks like him. It's not like the Indiana Jones Figma figure where it looks nothing like an Indiana Jones and was uh, frankly piss poor. Um, however, because um, if you're not, if you're ignoring the price uh, the figure itself is a quite solid figure. There's a few issues here and there, like the cape really hard to uh, <clears throat> really hard to put the cape on very finicky, and there's a few bits that pop quite easily, which uh, will make you think that this would be a cheaper figure than uh, something that's cheaper. Definitely should be cheaper than such figures. But uh, because of the licensing fee for um, Disney and probably the actor himself, because it is his likeness. Uh, this figure is extremely expensive. It is, well, in Hong Kong anyway, it's 550 Hong Kong. Uh, that's a lot to swallow for a figure that isn't in the best sort of range, really. Um, it doesn't even come, like, the accessories that he does come with are good, but it doesn't actually come with that much. When you open the box, it feels like there's a lot of stuff in there, but it's just a bag and uh, the, 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 the the instructions and the stage, which, yeah, you know, it's good that they're there, but um, uh, this is, it only comes with two, six hands in total and only the hammer and nothing else really. I wouldn't call the cape an accessory, it's more of an essential item that he has to have. It's something that would be a solid cape on SH Figart, so it's definitely not an accessory. And it's not even good quality cloth. Uh, for its price, uh, unless you really, really want a for this scale, the same as Sage Figarts, uh, Revoltech, and Figma, 
then uh, maybe I can recommend it for you. It does look quite like him, and the moving eye gimmick thing is, well, it's interesting to be on this figure, because uh, I haven't seen them on uh, Figmas yet, I've seen them on Revoltex. So it's cool that's here, but it's just quite a big chunk to swallow. And Iron Man's gonna cost even more. And um, when there's Revoltex Iron Man, SH Figarts Iron Man, and Figma Iron Man, you really gotta decide which one you wanna go for. Figma Iron Man's the one that's gonna have the face. Revoltex is just crap in my opinion. I really hate Revoltex joints. And as I figure out, uh, Iron Man was really, really good. So we'll find out when the Figma Iron Man comes out if the extra Tony Stark head really is worth it. Otherwise, um, I would say stay away from the normal Figma Iron Man because there's nothing special there. If you really want a Tony Stark head, then yeah, I'll be reviewing, reviewing that one just because that one has an extra head in there and let you know if it's worth it or not. Uh, plastic quality is pretty decent with these soft rubbery bits on his hips, but uh, yeah, that doesn't really boost the price of this figure too much. Uh, really expensive figure, uh, just try to get it cheaper if you can, if you really want it. I really wouldn't recommend paying too much for this as the current price is right now. And that's a shame because it is a good figure, I just don't think it's worth 500. It's not, I mean, it's not even a rare figure. This isn't the aftermarket price. This is the brand new Figma price that it is selling for. So, yeah, yikes. Subscribe, suggest, and comment below. And of course, take care and have a nice day. Bye.